All right. Coming back to camp. Let's get a look at these things. I think Stan and Nima are back by now. All right. You guys ready to do a little walk around of your Jeeps? Hey, sure. I'm right, gonna start with you, Stan. Sure. All right, first let's start. Doing? Yeah, tell me your oh, name, all your, rock. all your social media stuff. Hello. How you doing? I'm Stan. Uh, let's see, where do I start? Uh, Stan, um, you can find me on Instagram and YouTube. All right, let's take a look at that. Jeep and Treetop. Here's my logo, and it's it's easy. It's splattered all over my Jeep. Absolutely, everybody check that out. And what, what year is your Jeep Stan? Uh, this is a uh, 2020 Jeep Rubicon. Nice. So, where do you want to start? In the front? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, show us. Let's take a look at the front. Well, so we can start our, our start at the front, and then just work our way back if you want. All right. Obviously, the elephant in the room is kind so of up there, and we'll sort of get there. It's a very similar build to yours. This is a 2020 Jeep uh, Rubicon. Uh, it's sitting on 35s. Uh, method 701s on the tire. It's uh, it's got the stock bumper. Yeah, um, I see that. That's really nice. Got the Badland Apex 1200 pound winch in the front. Um, it actually got really good reviews, so I didn't want to go spend too much on a winch, but it's uh, saved me uh, many uh, uh, times. Oh yeah, no, I, I always tell people like the Badlands. I think is like a super good winch for the money and everything. Uh, they're great. Yeah. So, underneath the hood, it, I didn't really do too much. I do have the Genesis dual battery system underneath the hood. Yeah, it's super so cool. So, since, uh, since we're in the front, you can see up on top, I do have a 430 watt panel. Yeah, up, that's, oh up, man. Up on top. What that's feeding is... Uh, I don't think many people have seen that is, before. Is two lithium batteries under the floor, and I'll show you those when we go inside. Actually, Absolutely. we can go around the front. Oh, just real quick, and what are these lights? Because we were talking about these earlier. Okay, these are the Gravity Pro 6s in the front. Uh -huh. And um, and then up on the A-pillars, mm -hmm. I there have the, what are those, the... Uh, yeah, you were, the, the, what are you saying, the Flex Eras or something? Flex Era 4s. Nice, yeah, those are really nice. I like those. And those are awesome. They throw out uh, a super amount of light. And then here in the front, guys. those are my uh, ditch lights. And I got those on a fluke. Uh, I don't know, I bought those off of, uh, on a sale. Um, and I got those at like $40 a pair. And that's my uh, ham radio on top. Okay, sweet. And then my little antenna in the back, you can see, and that's for my GMRS. Oh, cool, you didn't even notice that. Yeah. Nice, man. So you're all wired up and ready so to go. I'm all wired up. Yeah, and then on the, on the side, I mounted uh, two sets of uh, generic Max, Max tracks. I think those are active ac action tracks. Yeah, and this is all like your DIY, like it's all set, DIY, right? and I built a set of uh, eighty twenty. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, track, which is on a set of the Ursa Minor brackets. So I have those mounted on the front and, and that's a rail extrusion, going right? all the way back. And this is a quick quick pitch. Um, it's the answer, right? which you know I've, I've shown right, and a shower done room. some stuff about. And I think it's the same one you have on your rig. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So it's a, it's a shower room as well as my bathroom. You can, you can I, go back to it. I think we were talking about your ensuite and then we were slightly okay. interrupted by a little uh, four-legged friend, so. Okay. So, so there's my ensuite, and then yeah, underneath is my. Yeah, you have so setup. much going on here. So I have on the right a DC DC controller. Yeah, on the left cool, is man. my solar. And I'll then the lights I have here. The little light thing is an amp L start, which yeah. takes the residual um, charge from the batteries, and it charges my uh, starter battery up front. Yeah, that's sweet, so, man. And then, of course, uh, in front of all of that is my inverter, yeah, which I use for uh, charge my computers and all that stuff. And you said you have, what, what kind of batteries are these again? Those are Renogy uh, 100 amp uh, wow, yeah, amp look at batteries, those. and I have two of Oop. them back there. That's so cool, man. It's so much juice. And then, so you said that um, 
So basically the solar is feeding those batteries, right? And then the DC-DC charger is... Right. It, the DC-DC charger charges off of the alternator. It charges those batteries when the alternator is running. Yeah. So the solar, the solar charges those batteries and then when the engine is running, also charges those batteries. Okay, yeah. And so, uh, so what's running those batteries is the uh, all the stuff the that, that I my computer system, my ham radio stuff. I'm also a ham radio operator, so it runs my batteries, uh, my uh, radios, and so forth. Yeah, my nice. computers. I live out of the rig, so I edit videos uh, for my for my YouTube channel. And, yeah, absolutely. And I have electric heat in the in the uh, rig, so at nighttime. I have my electric blanket and so forth, so I run those off of their batteries as well. So that's kind of cool. No, that's very cool. And I'm not going to lie, I've pretty much copied your setup, which I'm going to have to show in a video later. <laughs> this so is pretty going, cool. Going to the back, I have my, uh, my spare. So you want it? And then in the back of the rig, you know, it's a standard. I have an outback table for my kitchen oh, setup. Super nice. And I'll open open that back up. A standard kitchen setup with with the slide out cutting board. Very cool. And then we'll close we'll close that back up. And then standard setup. Here's my dry goods. So here's basically my pantry. Mm -hmm. So my dry goods, my spices, uh, pots and pans, and so forth. And I have my shelf here. Uh, above my shelf is basically I store all my clothing. Um, here's the bag for my cooking pot, which is right behind yeah, you. Yeah, your DIY scottle, which has gotten my, a million questions, which we're gonna have or, to make a or, or discata, as they say. Yeah, this is a cast iron uh, Bayou Classic, which I bought on eBay. Uh, not eBay. Uh, yeah, we're, Amazon. We're gonna need to make a whole video just about so, that thing because so many questions. So. There is a commercial outfit that makes this very similar thing. I think it's called uh, Oris or Orvis or something like that. I basically took that design and made it myself for uh, a quarter of the price. Yeah, no kidding. I figure I did that. And then your usual, I have a Dometic 55, 55 liter uh, fridge. And that's where I keep my yeah. stuff. And you think that's uh, so. so? We were talking about the fridge. So, what's your plan with the fridge, or what are your thoughts about the fifty-five? Well, the, as as a single person um, living in the Jeep, I'm thinking that this is too big for my purposes. So, I'm going to run a series of videos on my channel. I'm going to rebuild the whole inside of the Jeep and downsize the whole thing. Fifty-five, I think, is too big. Yeah. So I'm gonna run a 45 in here. Remove the 55. Run a 45, and just maximize maximize the space. Yeah, absolutely. So, I like it. But um, also, <clears throat> I have the side bags here. You are you have lights in the back, storage. don't you? Or can you get some lights? So yeah. Oh, that's right. I, have, you have that. I have this light here. And I have switches and stuff. I have this light as oh, well. Oh yeah, and that's the one uh, so from that's, Ursa Minor, right? So this, yeah, this light comes oh. with the Ursa Minor top. And when we go on the other side, if you can probably pick it up here, you see this LED strip light here, I'll point out. Oh yeah, that's right, you're showing and, that. Very and cool. those switch for that is on the inside, which gives ambient light on when I'm inside the Jeep on the yeah, other side. Very cool. So, accessible from this side underneath the floor in the jeep um cargo area which is underneath the floor yeah because you built your like whole own plate right so the, the platform, plate right? The, the plate system is custom i built that myself these three tubes here yeah. are three foot deep which hold the leg the legs for my uh discada mm -hmm. system Okay. These three tubes, uh, I mentioned earlier, I'm a ham radio operator, so these are my ham radio antennas. Yeah, very cool so, design, man. So, and these these three tubes are are five feet long, they run the whole length of the floor. <laughs> That's crazy. These three are only three foot long, and they hold the legs for my discada. So, 
but underneath these three tubes in the storage area that the Jeep provides is my ARB twin compressor. Oh yeah, you're telling me about that. Very, so, that's very cool. I like that which, design. Which that is setup. plumbed to my up-down air system, which is right here. So when I need to air up or air down, my air chuck is right here. So all I do is take take my air chuck, plug it in here, okay. and then now I run in the four corners. I have an air chuck, and I run four little four little yeah, hoses, little quick connects, quick to dick connects that go from here to the tires, and I air up all four tires up and down all nice. together. And then um, one of the other, you know, obviously you have the AT uh, Overland propane brack, which I think is right. very cool. And those um, come, those come silver. I had a powder coated black. Oh, okay. Very yeah. so. cool. And then, uh, then let's uh, show them this guy right here. Okay, this is kind of cool. Yeah, now, that's, I think it's very cool. Now I, I, again, I mentioned that my shower is on that side. What I normally do is I have a hose that's attached to there and that's just a quick disconnect and uh, and that's a hose attached and that's how I take my shower. Okay. Okay, so what I do Yeah, is I know, it might splash a little bit. Is a <laughs> is a fail safe. I have a valve I have a valve here. Increase. And then I have a faucet here. Okay. So but on the inside due to First, let me. Here's the lighting system that I said. Yeah, very cool. Your so, ambient lighting. So my ambient lighting, which is runs over the Since opening line right there. of the there Ursa Minor opening. So there's a switch with a with a with a dimmer, so I can dim so I can dim the lights when I'm inside. Oh, nice. Okay, and then I can also. I can I can I can turn the pump on. So my water tank is right here. Yeah, if you can't see so, big so, one right here. So I have ten gallons under the floor. So and if you guys follow uh, Dan Greck from the Road Chose Me YouTube channel, so he designed a water system that has a water filter along with a pump system where he takes, uh, he can go to any unsafe or unsecure uh, water or shall I say a untrusted water source. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. source. And due to a series of valves, he can take a hose, which is what I have here. Okay, that's I was all, kind of wondering about that. That's all twisted up. <laughs> so, assuming that he can go to a river or a... Um, so, is that like a suction? What it, <clears throat> what it is, I can take this, put it in a bucket of water okay. or into a river, okay? Flip this valve open, okay? I can flip this valve open, take this valve and and open it here and then close this valve here. And then when I turn the pump on, it'll pull water in here, okay? Run it through my, through my filter system, and I have a filter that will uh, run it through a carbon filter, oh, wow. as well as run it through a UV lamp. No kidding. So the carbon filter will filter out all the all the uh, down to uh, the per, like the particulate matter, right? All that... the particulate matter down to 0.5 micron, oh, wow. and the UV filter will kill all the bacteria. That's very all, cool. All man. the nasties, if you will, the way, oh, he, cool. the way he calls it. And then it'll go into the water tank, so it'll make basically drinking water out of anything. Oh, that's cool. And okay. you said you got that from Dan Greck, right? I've never seen that. Let's so, check that out. So that's he's cool. he's got a YouTube channel. Uh, and he's got it. Uh, he's got a episode on that. So I basically copied his system. So, so I did I did that, and then you flip this valve and flip that valve, and then it'll run it through the filter a second time. Pour and before it comes out of the faucet. Okay. So it basically filters it 
twice. Mm. So I can also uh, flip the valves accordingly and then just filter it a third time. Jeez. And just basically filter it uh, out of the tank and then back through the filter and into the tank. Very cool, man. So it's kind of it's kind of a neat system. So, yeah, I know it's very neat. I've, I've, I'm not to check out Dan's so, view on that. So I can basically take gray matter and turn it into clean drinking water. So the system that I have now um, is interesting to the sense where I can actually collect my shower water. If you want it, right? I mean, theoretically. So I can collect my shower water and uh, filter it and turn it back into drinking water if I needed to. All right. So, and really, so that's that's the whole water system. Okay. So, and then um, it's getting a little dark because I don't know how well it's going to expose. Let's take a look at this awning real quick, and then okay. obviously you know we'll look kind of take a look at the Ursa Minor, and then. Uh, okay. So, so the awning system. Um, this is this is a, made by the Bush Company. It's the 270 XT. Yeah, I don't know how well so, you can see, but this is super super beefy. So let me. Uh, Real quick. Oh, it's made by Bush Company. I think this is really cool. If this thing even. What in the world just happened? Nope. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm getting some, getting some light, but yeah, you can kind of see how beefy these hinges know. are. So the, two, the Bush Company 270 XD is probably one of the beefiest awnings you can get. Yeah. It's, it's not the least expensive. Whoop. It's certainly not the least expensive. But, it's real life. Uh, but it's certainly one of the beefiest. So no, it's cool. Um, I actually, I really like it. But, but in any case, well, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So, but uh, it's very sturdy. Uh, it's it's a self-supporting awning. The reason why uh, I purchased aftermarket legs for it is because the Ursa Minor is not built for uh, such a heavy awning. Yeah. So it's uh, the Ursa Minor is uh, supposed to be, uh, it's actually built for like up to a 50 pound awning. This particular awning weighs uh, 72 pounds. So, oh no. so it is, on. here's our neighbor oh. bringing us snacks. Overland Expo goodies. Thank you. And can I try this? What this is, is this? This is elk uh, summer sausage that uh, Red has hunted. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. I will partake in a moment. Uh, oh my god. Maybe I'll, I'll, okay. you need to. Shot, right? maybe I'll partake mm. in a Enjoying camp. Oh my cooking. god. This is Overland Expo 2021. <laughs> this is every day. Neighbors. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Neighbors. Yep. What about, um, look, take a look at your Ursa Minor real quick. Okay. Sorry. So, so when you, when did you pick this thing up? October of, uh, this is 21, October of 20. So it's mm -hmm. relatively new. I have airline track installed up on top, which is yeah, what's used cool. to uh, attach my solar panel. And, cool. um, I think it's cool because you you need to have like two different it is, designs. Uh, I have the option uh, installed that uh, it's paint matched, which really is, makes it a little bit more it's unique than right. your average uh, Ursa Minor, which is uh, normally has a rhino lining coating on it. Yeah, I love it, man. It's a beautiful Jeep. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know. I guess that's uh, about it. Uh, you you got a shot of it going up into it. So, and then inside. Oh, someone's been shopping. Very cool. And then in, uh, moving forward, <coughs> we have my navigation system. I just use a, Let's see if we can get a shot of that iPad Mini. You just got the new 67 design mount right for your iPad? Yeah, 67 design, and then I have my um, ham radio, just the VHF, UHF, which is up on a dash. Oh, yes, is that right there? Yeah. 
Very cool, man. So I guess I have the Garmin inReach uh, up front just for just in case. All right. And that's uh, about Very it. Cool. And then I have the, of course, the. Oh yeah, the was the rock slide? slide, rock slide engineering yeah. steps. Love those. When and I'm when I'm at camp, I lock them down so they don't go back up to. Yeah, I, I had to ask because I had to ask if it was broken or not, and right. you know, I, he does I, it on I purpose. Lock, I disconnect the power. I do the kill switch uh, so I don't disturb my neighbors when they're constantly going up and down uh -huh. at nighttime. Very cool, man. And that's it. Yeah, it's an awesome Jeep. I love it. So. If look you have any it. questions, feel free to look me up yep. on the uh, on the interweb and, uh, and and shoot me any questions. Give me a follow and follow the the rebuild. Oh, that's right. You said because you're going to be rebuilding for what the third, basically the third time, or well, basically the third time. You know, it's... I'll be uh, rebuilding it uh, only because after living in it, in it, I full time in the Jeep. So after. Being in it for about six months, you have all the creature comforts, and you try to make the um, uh, try to make maximum efficiency. Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm all about and that. Then main thing is the water tanks on this side, but my showers on that side. So I'm running hoses all over all the time across the Jeep, and then that just didn't make any sense. And so I got wires running of course after I, I started installing things a little bit at a time and then I got wiring going one way and it should have been going the other way so I got okay. more wiring in there than it ought to be so I'm just gonna try to clean the whole system up and I pretty much have everything in the Jeep that I want in a Jeep I'm just gonna try to clean the install up. very cool so, man and by doing that I'm gonna have to basically take everything out and put it all back in a little bit cleaner Okay, and you said you're going to make like a YouTube series about that, right? Because yeah. I know people would love to see that. Right. Because it's pretty cool what you have going right now, but I mean, you know, improving on something that's already pretty good is right. you know, even so, cooler yeah. to see. So it's, it's just going to be a, a, a removal and a reinstall, just trying to make it a little cleaner. Very cool, man. So... Well, awesome. Well, Thank yeah. you for thanks for taking the you know the time to show yeah. me everything. And, and you've got a ton of questions this weekend. You know, sitting right here. Sure. And if your listeners have any suggestions, I'm all open. <laughs> I'm all ears. You know. And if Absolutely. You guys can, if you guys can, uh, you know, give me a follow and provide any suggestions, I'm all you know. I'm all I'm all ears. Yeah. Well, I know you have a lot of shows. I mean, <laughs> your solar system in the water alone is you know. Right. You got some stuff you know, going I'm, on there. I, I'm no engineer by by any means, but uh, I'm all open for suggestions. So I'm kind of learning as I go. Right on. So. All right. Well.